Jared Poland Frono's photo. Dot com, and this is a product showcase of the Insta360 X3. Now, the X3 is replacing the One X2, but they dropped the One this time so that there's no confusion because they have so many cameras that are called Insta1360, this or that. But this is a showcase of the brand new action camera, the X3. Now, the X3 is being billed as a camera that is for the everyday content creator, the social media content creator, the social influencer, the people that are looking to make TikTok and Instagram content that might not want to spend more money for the Insta One 360 with the one inch module up top. Now, that's gonna be basically twice the price of this thing, and that's why it's geared more towards the everyday creator, because it's gonna be priced in a pretty good spot. So whereas I just said that this is for more content creators, the 360 with the one inch sensor is more for the pro or the filmmaker who wants that larger sensor. But as you can see from the difference in size, one is pocketable and the other is you would need Jenko jeans or something from the 1990s to put it in because they had massive pockets. So keep that in mind when you're trying to decide which one is right for you. So what did I shoot? I got to take this out to a couple of pretty cool events. One was the Atlantic City Air Show in Atlantic City where I got to shoot fighter jets uh, and helicopters and I got to walk around the beach. I even got to do pull-ups for the army or the navy or whichever one they were and they I did 17 or something and they said I needed to do 22 but they didn't tell me that until I was done or I would have pushed all the way through. I, I would have done it. So being out on the beach was kind of cool but then on the flip side when you carry around one of those long sticks and you're that influencer you kind of go oh why am i doing this are people looking at me weird and then the answer to that question is yes they're looking at you weird but when you come back with really good footage that is more unique than what anybody else is getting it doesn't matter so that's my mindset when i'm out there shooting i know what i'm trying to capture i don't care if people are looking at me going look at this influencer in the wild in fact i would love if someone posted that to influencers in the wild and it was me because i am an influencer and i was in the wild and the second thing that I did get to use this camera for was down at Kennedy Space Center where I went down to photograph what was supposed to be the first launch of NASA's Artemis rocket. But it didn't end up launching, which is okay because that's bound to happen, but I did get some cool footage. We got to go out to the exclusion zone, which is really close to the rocket. Now, when I say really close, it's still like a mile away. So yeah, it's at a distance in the footage that I captured. But what is cool from this area is that you could see the different, uh, the, the cameras that were set up, the remote cameras that the press got to set up to try and photograph the launch. And the other thing at NASA that was cool is I got to hang out by the crawler, the thing that moves up to 18 million pounds of space shuttles and space flight systems and all of that and, and kind of shove it into some really cool places because I had a very long stick. All right, so let me show you the X3. This is the X3 right here. And the first thing that I noticed when I picked it up is that it actually has some nice heft to it, which makes it feel like it is an action camera because it is an action camera. It feels nice and sturdy. It's grippy in the hands. Now, of course, if you're putting it on a tripod or a, or a uh, selfie stick, you have down at the bottom your tripod mount so that you can use it. But if you're gonna handhold it for certain things, it does feel good in the hands. Plus, you do handhold it for setting it up. And the first thing, well, I guess it's the second thing that I noticed after picking it up is the nice tempered glass screen. The X2 had a smaller round screen. This is 2.29 inches of tempered glass, and I just picked it up and I was like, wow, it's nice and bright. I'm in the sunlight, and I'm able to operate this and use it. And like all of the other Insta360 cameras that I've picked up, I didn't actually have any manual for how to work it. I just figured it would work the same as the others. I turned it on, I swiped up, I changed my settings, I swiped down, I swiped left, uh, swipe left, swipe right. It was really intuitive and easy to get going right off the bat. So around the side here, we have the power button. This is your on and off switch. You just hold it in, turn it on, you press it, you can turn it off right from there. Now, the Q button is where you can get to quick settings. So if I wanted to get into 4K, just one lens mode, I could preset that into there. I would hit the Q button, touch the screen with the function that I wanted, or as I did, 
did, I set it to my 360 settings so that I was always at 5.7K at 30 frames per second. I could quickly get there by hitting the Q and then touching the screen. You have two buttons down here. You've got your record button. That's how you start and stop your recording. And right next to that, this is where you would click if you wanted to turn off the 360 option and just get the 4K one lens option. Now, when you do hit record, you do have two tally lights, one on the back, one on the front, so that you know you are recording. Because there's times where you're like on a stick and you're like, is it recording? And you're like, yep, I can see the light blinking. Right here, you've got your one lens on the back, you have your other lens. That's what makes it a dual lens system. That's how they get 360. Now on the other side, you've got a switch right here. We flip this open. Remember, this is waterproof. So all of these doors lock in and clip in, making it waterproof. This is where you charge it with your USB-C charging cable. You pop this back in, boom, we clip it. We make sure that it's not on orange so that we lock it in. It's now locked in. Right here is where your battery is. So you can pop the battery out like this. It pops right out. One thing that I actually like that they put on this battery is they put an up sign on there because sometimes you're like, well, does it go this way or does it go this way? I've always had issues with that with some other cameras because I'm like, well, I'm gonna put it in backwards. They just make it easy. This side up, it shows you up goes back in. Now, right inside here, you do have your micro SD card slot. That's where it lives, nice and protected inside of the camera. But if you're trying to figure out where is it, that is where it is. You can get extra batteries. I like having extra batteries just because you can quickly pop it in. Boom, you're good to go. You have your battery right there. Specs, you have an upgraded half inch sensor inside of this camera, which is obviously when it's upgraded, it's better than the prior generation. You get up to 5.7K 30P 360 footage, which is what I shot in. I'm always gonna shoot in the highest quality mode that I can get because as I always say, you can dumb your footage down, you can never dumb it back up. One of the coolest features here that's really important in this camera and actually works very well is called flow state stabilization. Uh, I'm gonna explain that more in just a second, but you also have 360 horizon lock. So think if you're on a roller coaster and you do a loop-de-loop, -loop, like the super duper looper at Hershey Park in Hershey, PA, uh, which I used to go to as a kid, it will keep the horizon locked. That's awesome, but the flow state is what is great. It really stabilizes your footage. If you're walking over the rocks that I was wa walking over at the crawler, it wasn't very stable. I was moving around quite a bit. Here's what it looks like on and off. You can see how much more stable it is with flow state. So that's one of the major selling points here is having the ability for flow state. Uh, the other thing is the invisible selfie stick. This time around, my box included this Insta360 invisible selfie stick. Now this is a big stick, but it's actually pretty light. It extends to 10 feet long. I can even poke Steven from here. Ow! I actually am poking Steven right now. So yeah, this is a 10 foot long stick. You don't need to get something like this, but it really came in handy when I was out at the crawler because I was able to thread this through a small little area that was surrounded by a lot of grease and I didn't want to get any grease on it because then I wouldn't be able to use it. I'd have to use Dawn to get the grease off. But it was so cool to be able to get up high onto the crawler just by using a 10 foot selfie stick and the selfie stick disappears. Cause I wasn't even sure if this stick was gonna disappear because how thick it is and it did end up disappearing. Now let's say you don't want to shoot 360 for whatever reason. There is the 4K single lens mode. You just press that button like I showed you earlier. It goes into the 4K single lens mode, but just be aware that if you do use a selfie stick with the 4K single lens mode, it does not get rid of the selfie stick in that situation. So for me, I ended up using the 360 all the time because I like to have the option as a creator to choose whichever angle and direction to use after the fact. But if you want to get 4K and just use a single lens, you have that option. One of the biggest things I like about having 360 because I was one of those people who was like, I don't understand 360 because it all was tied to VR but we're not delivering content in VR. What I love is the fact that I can set a camera up on a shoot as a one-man band. When I'm doing a photo shoot, I have the camera set up somewhere. You can see what's in front of me. You can see what's behind me. We can rotate it around. We can use it 
for our videos to make it look even better. It helps us describe a situation visually better than I could just explain it. So instead of explaining it, here it is. It just looks great. This is where I'm at. So that's why I like to shoot in 360, whereas with some of the other cameras that are out there that just shoot, they're just action cameras, and it's right in front of you, you have to buy a second camera to accomplish 360. In this case, you could do the 4K with the one lens, or you could just shoot 360 all the time, which is what I personally like to do. Next up, there's a mode in here called me mode. Look at me, look at, it should be called, look at me, I'm Jared, I'm, I'm look at me. Basically what it does is it tells the camera to always look at you, the subject. So if you're a snowboarder going down the mountain and you're moving left, right, no matter where you move it, it's gonna lock onto you and reframe it that way. So me mode is pretty cool for those people who just don't wanna do a lot of editing after the fact, you just want it to focus on me, then it's gonna focus on me. Next up, you can take 360 degree stills with this camera. You can get a 72 megapixel raw image, which looks pretty good because they have something called pure shot, which kind of is like putting Skittles on it. It looks really good to go from without pure shot to pure shot and you have a 72 megapixel 360 degree image that you can look at. It looks pretty cool on the beach that I could put the stick up in the air and see everything. This camera also has the ability to do bullet time video. So you can get an accessory for the selfie stick or just an accessory for the ability to do bullet time that plugs into the bottom of the camera. You can do 4K, 120 frames per second. You spin it around your head and then you slow it down and that's what you get for bullet time. I couldn't do that out at NASA and I didn't do it out at the beach because there were a lot of people around and I didn't want to obviously spin it around and hit anybody. Another mode that Insta360 was like, Jared, will you try this mode out, it's called nose mode. Well, I ended up not choosing to do nose mode because it's not really something that I think is good for my type of video creation, but there's a lot of Instagrammers and TikTokers who like to follow trends and nose mode for some reason seems to be a trend. Basically what you do is you put the Insta360 in your mouth and it gives you this up your nose shot. I, I'm not sure what the kids are thinking these days, but if that's what's hot in these streets right now, then that's what's hot in these streets right now. You have the ability to do that. An uh, in, in interesting mode though is called loop recording. Think of it as like a dash cam. If you set this up in your car, it's gonna continuously save and replace the other footage as it gets there, as it fills up. But if you're in an accident, uh, regular dash cams only show you either the front or the back, 360 is gonna show you everything. So that's a nice mode that they've added there if you're gonna end up using it. Now this is also waterproof. The X3 is waterproof down to 33 feet. I shoved it in the ocean just to see what would happen and it was waterproof. But think about it. If you put it on a selfie stick and you go down a water slide, well that's an option because it's waterproof. Or you just jump into the pool with it and you get 360 at the bottom of the pool. That's pretty cool that you can do that. So having the ability to go down to 33 feet, as long as all the locks are locked, just make sure that your battery is put in there properly and that none of the doors are open and you're good down to 33 feet. But what good is all this footage if you don't have a good, powerful desktop app or mobile app to look at your images or look at your video and then repurpose it for social media, for Instagram, for TikTok, for YouTube. So there are two different things here. You have a desktop app as well as a really good mobile app which could help you set up your framing to then get it out to TikTok and to get it out to Instagram quickly. And that's why I say that it, these, this is good for those content creators who just wanna get that footage out into the world and showcase it. All right, enough of me talking about the specs. I'm gonna get to the price in just a minute and my final wrap up with what I think about the X3. But now let me show you a montage of what I was able to capture with the X3 when I took it out into the real world. Make it what you want.
So as you can tell from the montage, there is so much you can do with 360 video. As I said earlier, I was always skeptical of 360 because it was always mentioned in the same breath as VR. But when I'm out by myself, traveling without Steven, without anybody else, or I'm going to shoots, this gives us such a great angle for making reels, for making Insta stories, for making TikToks, and, and, and to put into our YouTube reviews for everything else. So what does it cost? Just under 450 bucks. That's not bad at all when you think about other action cameras that are on the market and you get so much more with 360. Now, to put that into comparison against the one inch version, that's the modular version, this is 800 bucks. So you can see there's a big disparity in the price there. If you're a cinematographer, a filmmaker, a pro, and you just want that larger sensor, you're gonna spend more money for it. Both are really good options. So if you want to pick one of these up, there's a link down below in the description so that you can purchase one and get it sent to you and start creating some awesome 360 footage as well as stills and get out there and just create more. So again, this was a product showcase of the Insta360 X3. I enjoyed using it out in the real world. I'm happy with the results that I got. I loved having the option of 360 that was pretty small and I could fit it in my pocket and I honestly loved having a 10 foot stick. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Don't forget in the description, if you'd like to purchase one right now, you can go ahead and do that directly from Insta360. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.